feel a man. Welcome to Alana by the Shore. I will be sharing my mother's chicken soup recipe with you, which has been a little tweaked over the years into my version of my mother's chicken soup. And to be honest with you, I've done a gazillion different ways of cutting the vegetable, blending the vegetables I've done before in a food processor, which I don't recommend unless you want it like that. So now for today, I'm going to just chop them, rough chop, kind of, sort of, which is what I'm better at doing because I'm not good at chopping, to be honest with you. Um, I have the chicken in the fridge. Normally, I prefer using a kosher chicken, like a whole chicken, but a kosher one. But at our grocery store, the shop right across the street from us, the only kosher chickens they had were the frozen ones. And I don't have time to wait for a frozen chicken to defrost. So I'm just going to use the regular size. Um, the regular Purdue whole chicken and I have the soup mix which is my mom used to buy except she would get the one from Stop and Shop which used to be known as Food Town. The one by us was a Food Town then it turned into a Stop and Shop then years later after I left <laughs> they closed down and now it's something else but anyway we have a shop right by our house so I got this plus I got an extra because I didn't like the way this celery looks I'm probably gonna just throw this one away I bought a whole big thing of celery. I'm probably not going to use all of them because that's way too much. And then this comes with two, I think, Spanish onions, a parsnip, a piece of turnip. Or is that the turnip? Yeah, that's the turnip. The other one's the parsnip. And then there's carrot in here. I forgot to get more carrots because, I mean, this should be okay. And then a leek, a part of a leek. And that's what comes in here. Celery, leek, onions, parsnip, turnip, and carrot. And then there's some dill. I got a whole nice bunch of fresh organic dill because that was the first thing I saw organic. They have like fresh organic herbs in our shop, right? And to me, and, and vegetables like the greens. 
that I love that I haven't bought in a while, but they have a nice array of that. So I got the big bunch of that that I have also. And I remember last time I bought it, I wound up wasting it. So this time I'm going to try to make sure we use it all. I got my pot ready with a nice amount of room temperature water. I'm probably going to have to add more once I put the chicken in there because the first things I do is you have to put the whole chicken and the cut up onion into a pot of regular water, not heated. Then you turn the stove on. I would say turn it on high because you want to bring that to a boil. Then it takes hours for the chicken to cook. I may or may not redo the vegetables depending on how I feel because it's going to be like an hour. It's going to take hours to do. And I don't have a top to cover that pot. I don't think, do we? I don't remember. I might. Or I might just use foil because we'll still let it simmer but not fully covered. It depends. It's going to be like a long day affair. Right now it's uh, 143. So, yeah, so I'm going to get my cutting board to cut the onions. Then we're going to put that in. Then we're going to put the whole chicken in, and you're going to come with me over there by the stove. We're going to have to, like, move this over. And so, yeah, so I'm going to put these, the rest of this into the refrigerator again because we don't need them out. I just wanted to show this to you. I'm going to throw away the celery. Let's go back. We're going to have to peel the carrot. And I love fresh herbs. But yeah, we're gonna put this away. So I got a knife and I just sharpened it a little more. I need my knife and extra sharpening because the sharper it is, the easier it should be to cut, you know, your vegetables cut with. I put it this way. Well that was a nice cut. Sharpening. So I'm gonna put that there for now. Hope I don't cry. Should have brought another bowl for the for the cut up on the end. I'm gonna be right back. And what you can do is if you're all organic, you can get like all organic vegetables. I don't know if they have all this stuff there in organic. But that should be good. Oh, good news. We got there for now. I'm really picky. I'm just cutting them like this. As you can see, out. dropping them in my bowl. This is going to go into the stove. Just like so. Not Again, we're not heating up the pot yet. Until I put the chicken in it after the onions are in there. The onions, when the chicken and the onions cook, it gives the chicken a nice flavor. The onions get nice and soft. I really have no idea why my mom did that, to be honest. I think that's pretty good, but I really have no idea. <laughs> it makes sense to me. You know, it gives the chicken a nice flavor. The one reason why I prefer kosher chicken when I make my chicken soup is there's so much sodium in the kosher chicken more than usual, I think. Or I believe, so I'm cutting these a little wider. So I can't cut. It like it makes it more flavorful because my mom used to not put seasoning in her soup. And I would top it with like a lot of salt and pepper. I think she did that too with pepper, but not salt. And I, I like salt. My dad's side of the family, the Middle Eastern side. They put a lot of salt in their food. Oh my god, the onion is burning my eye. <sighs> no. Yeah, but like, I love it. I think it gives it so much delicious flavor. I love salt. I have to put salt in my food. <laughs> I need to. Unless I eat somebody else's cooking, I may or may not do that. This is what I got for putting on mascara. Um, my eye is burning. I forgot all about this. Ah! I don't have this problem usually when I cut onions lately. I don't know why I'm doing it now. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to touch my eyes. So we're chopping this up too. I mean, it's gonna be simmering and stuff for so long. It's probably not gonna matter because they're gonna cook anyway. But I'm making it kind of big. I 
Oh, I'm probably rolling on my tractor. Oh, shit. I'm trying to hurry it up because my eyes are on fire and I can't wait to wash my hair again. I might pre cut the vegetables and just put them in the fridge. For now, just so that this is like done now with you and then come back to it later and put them in the soup. It'd be so much easier for me. So I'm going to go wash my hands and bring you with me over to the stove so we can put this in together. But these are all the two onions that I chopped. Well, my, my eyes are still crying. Oh my god, I'm still crying. It's not sure the right one. I was not crying, I swear. So I'm gonna put... So we're gonna do what I used to do. Use both my phone and my camera. So I'm bringing over... I brought my over my onions while my, my eyes are still crying. Oh my god, I'm still crying. My eye burn, especially the right one. I was not crying, I swear. So I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put the onions, they were too small, I think they were Spanish onions, in the pot of water. There was water in there. <laughs> and then we're gonna add the chicken to it. Why is there a speck in here? Well, that's all right, it's just from the onion. I don't know, but yeah, I'm very particular. But yeah, so that's the onion, not heated up water that I told you about. And we're going to add the whole chicken in here that I have to get out of the refrigerator. So that's the dill and the rest of the vegetable, the soup, veg the vegetables for the soup or soup greens, even though they're not all green. This is the chicken. I got the all natural young whole chicken. This one was one of the smallest ones they had because I didn't want to get a full like whole huge one because it's just me and Daniel but this one was $11.89 for 5.19 pounds it's a fresh chicken whole bird I'm gonna have to bring the garbage over here and carefully take this apart and then dump it in this the pot here and then turn the water on and start going. We're gonna make some chicken soup. All right, I'm gonna have to get a knife and something else because I gotta get this in there. Something. Cause I don't wanna make too much of a mess. sharp to cut this to put this into there. I might have always put this in the machine. So I'm gonna take this stuff out of the dryer though. Ready? So I'm gonna take this, try to carefully remove it. Is this the one that has the stuff in it? Humanely raised on family farms in stress-free environment. Federal regulations prohibit the use of hormones in poultry. That's nice. All right, I'm kind of our garbage pile has the thing where I can just let's do this. You can't see it, but I can. So. I hope I rinsed all the water off my fingers. So this one's kind of frozen too. 
I'm in the soap. I don't want to get gingerbread flavor on my chicken. And they say don't wash your chicken because that can cause problems in your sink. Try not to do this into the sink, into the pot here, to the best of my ability. Okay. I may have to add more water to it. And I also, shit, I forgot, I should have saved the knife. I need to look inside and see if this one has like the giblets and stuff because I don't remember. If it does, I don't know. I have to that too. Uh oh, I touched stuff. Yeah, I'm using my gingerbread soap, and this is Myers. I really don't want to get gingerbread on my chicken soup. Okay. Okay. Shit, did I just wipe it on my face? How do you know? Yeah, I think it's just the chicken. And there's plastic in it. Alright, I'm pulling this out. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna add more water. I'm turning the flame on. And I'm gonna add more water to my soup. I wish the front one had more. Great, I'm gonna have to wash that probably. This is huge. It's gonna take 10,000 hours to um, cook this. So that's the chicken. It's huge. And the onions. And I'm gonna, and I put the flame on high. Our burners are broken, so like this one doesn't work. And then like one of these does, but this one's like the strongest one. Believe it or not. I'm gonna cover this with some foil for now. Cause I don't think I have the lid. I'm just gonna do this and get out of the way so I can move on with my day. <laughs> and currently it's 2 11. So yeah. I'm gonna get my peeler. So I'm gonna put these guys here. I need the carrot here. I forgot to get my peeler. I'm gonna have to rinse this off really well in case there's. I don't see any sand in here though. Usually there's deep sand leaks. I guess they did that job for you. So I think it's chocolate. Oh, good. No, usually there's sandy leaks. Sandy leaks. So, yeah. Leaks have a lot of sand in them. So I'm going to chop. Sand. I mean, they pretty much cleaned it for me. We're just going to go with it. <laughs> I'm going to chop this all off. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to put my garbage bowl. So I'm going to just chop it like this. Leeks are really good, by the way. I'm going to put this roll back with my other dill. Because you don't need to add a dill until later. To me, it's like a garnish. Once I see sand in here, then I'll like rinse that. But leeks have sand. I don't know if you know that. I don't know why. I'm like in deep in the room. So I'm trying to look nice. I love it. Yum. Okay, celery. And celery is like really good for you anyway. It's really good healthy snack. So we're gonna just pop this up.
Yeah, because I have other things I need to take care of today. Or wheels, maybe. And then I'm sorry to change the house over from Halloween to Christmas and whatnot. So I'm doing laundry. I'm sure you can hear the laundry. I do laundry probably every day. No jokes. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my. Actually, we're gonna do this all the way first. I don't need to. I don't need to switch my palette. Just gotta rinse these. All of these. Yeah, let's see. Sorry, sorry, the trio. I'm gonna probably use. We only have one here. I like celery. And it's all fit. We're going to take these, <laughs> and I'm going to like rinse them and put these back in the fridge. While I do that, I'm going to grab my peel or ribbon. Can't tell if I'm recording because this thing keeps going to be on me. Yeah, I just like the same with celery. It has some like sand like, usually in there, so you just gotta like take your finger and wipe it. Some people use like a cloth. I just put my celery under water and take a cloth. Um, finger go with the water. Same thing with mushrooms. And I'm just gonna like pop them like a quarter inch piece of I think this is, and then throw them in my bowl with my other with my leeks. I hope any of them are I don't like my leeks. <laughs> Never have too much celery. And if he didn't like it, he's gonna like it now. Oh. That was like five things of celery. Alright, so now we're gonna. I don't do this the long way, but I don't care. I'm peeling. I think this is the parsnip. This is the parsnip. The long beige one. These are root vegetables. That I know. I was going the wrong direction. One. Yeah, we're supposed to do it away from you. I know that. But <laughs> you put ginger in your toe, wow. I don't know. I could smell the chicken and the onions, but the chicken is definitely not ready. So you're supposed to like slow cook it once it comes to a boil. And simmer, and then you have to wait hours for the chicken to stop, start to fall off the bone, and then take it out, and then mess with it. And... I remember trying not to get too good. Okay, let's stick that there for now. No. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's garbage. It's hard to cut. Ah! 
vielleicht kann ich auch. Ich glaube, 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 I'm trying to cut you. I'm not trying to cut myself. 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 I'm not trying they kind of bitter. It's like a nice bitter. I'm gonna check on the chicken. Alright, now we're going to do the carrot. Um, why do you even rush this? <laughs> we're taking a skip. I kind of feel like we don't have to. You know what I mean? Oh shit, I hope I don't get this on my tray. I have my, my new target tree over here. Oh, really I'm going to turn it. It's going to be a little hard to do because it's such a small vegetable. The real way I'm doing this is doing it to twig yourself or something, and I'm like, oh fuck no, yeah, we're not doing that. Because I'm tall for you, so. It kind of reminds me of a radish. Those radish? It's turned. I'm going to put it into like little bite sized pieces. I guess this looks like got a lot of bite to it. There's something going on. It's 228. Oh, I see a boy on there. 
Turn down for what? Dun, 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 dun. Turn down for small. I think this is when you uncover it, kind of. And I'm probably going to have to, like, carefully try to toss it. So the chicken's, like, the other way around. But, yeah. So the chicken came to a boil with the onions. Once it starts to fall apart is when I can add the other vegetables, which I just finished chopping. And then I'm going to put those away in the fridge for now. I'm going to cover them for drum. The herbs are for later. And then, yeah, so. I gotta carefully try to rotate the chicken. Maybe not. Oh, I got it. It's just not covering all the way now. I can't order to do it. Maybe I can turn it back around. Because I know the chicken's supposed to be covered. Might have to add more water to it. Shit. Well, I don't know, maybe not. He just got his palm in the It's not what it looks like. <laughs> I smelled the chicken is starting to like come together and I finally got a chance to turn it around and it's starting to break apart which is good but it still has a ways to go and it was partially frozen when I put it in here but you could tell the water is like nice and yummy. The onions are mostly sunk in the bottom. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. It was like over five pounds of chicken so I'm going to let it continue to do its thing. Monitor it every once in a while. I What's it on the three? About three. And then I rotate it again in a bit. But it's starting to look good. It's getting a nasty ass spot on the wall there. Almost four o'clock now. So it's been cooking for a while. The vegetables are still sitting in the fridge. And yeah, we're cooking. And I was starting to edit the video too. Several hours later, the chicken finally was cooked and fell right off the bone. And this was when I started to break it apart. And in the next video clip, you'll see it is all broken up. Ooh. Yes. So we are about to add, I'm like casual again. <laughs> We are about to add the vegetables into the soup because the chicken is good. But then we're not putting in the dill until later because we're not. <laughs> we're just not. We usually only did it for like serving the soup, but I might add it anyway. We'll see. Can you see me? I know my hair is a mess. <laughs> my lips are chapped. My hair is a mess. I'm not trying to get hair all over the food though. All right, and I'm about to have some salad because the soup's not ready. Yeah! So we have our vegetables that we chopped off up earlier. And they still smell delicious, especially the parsnips and the turnips. We got carrots, we got celery, we got leeks, parsnips and turnips. Five sticks of celery. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, there's going to be fresh organic dill and regular dill. Yum! I'm going to have to show you what this looks like in just a sec. So this needs to cook a bit longer so that now the veggies get cooked and soft and yummy and they're going to be like tender when we eat this. The chicken fell apart and I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So I just poured the veggies in. We left the whole chicken in. So I was like, I just, I'd rather just pull the bones out, you know, and the bones and everything, give it flavor. And I found the gizzards. I forgot to tell Daniel about that, but I have a, a picture of that, I think. And I think I have a video too from before I stopped to put on a shirt. But yeah, so the chicken is nice and yummy. The soup is nice and soupy. Hopefully there's no gingerbread soap in here. Look at that flavorful. That was from the onions and the chicken. That nice broth. I'm probably not going to save all the broth though. It's a lot of broth. And we don't have room in the fridge for this. I have to clean some containers. But it's a nice change from having Omaha steak every day for the last couple weeks, which I'm not complaining about. The only the only thing we have left now are burgers. There's a few night couple of nights of burgers left in the fridge. But this looks yummy. My mom taught me to break it apart with my fingers in a bowl, and then you take the chicken, the whole chicken out. Put in a big bowl and you break it apart and pull out the bones. But I'm, I'm, I'm the couple times I've done this, I was too lazy to do that. Tired, lazy, and it takes too much work. But also, I don't want to put my fingers in there. You know, I don't want to touch the chicken with my fingers. And then, you know, like there's a bone. But the bones also give it flavor. Just saying. You know, bones give it flavor. Well, I'm, I'm glad the, the meat fell off the bones because I was worried about the <laughs> truthfully with some of the pieces. I was like, mm. But I'm gonna wait to do more when I'm using my t my tongs. I gotta let this hang out for the veggies to cook. Like this, I could take out the neck. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> I would, and Daniel would be like, you have to be careful. He would yell at me, I know it. But you know what, I would probably deserve it. This is what I'm talking about. I'm about to put some fresh organic and unorganic dill in here, because I got both. <laughs> the non-organic came in the the vegetable package and then I got my own organic fresh dill from the grocery store. I'm gonna pull out some more bones I think but the vegetables are totally cooked now I'm pretty sure. Well the carrots look a little I don't know I'll have to check it. I think they're okay I mean by the time we eat it it looks delicious. Oh yeah, baby. About to add the fresh dill to the soup. Try to pull out some extra, some more bones. I'm gonna grab the tongs to do that. Just stirring it nice and good. 
I was trying to get this piece <laughs> But it's hard with the spoon, to be honest with you. I really need the tongs. I got a nice handful of organic dill. Yeah, I thought you'd put parsley in there too. I love herbs. Like these kind. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on the side because I'll probably eat that. I love the sticks. That's all right. And then I'm just like breaking it a little. It's a lot of dill, but I like it. I just put a ton of the dill and a little bit of parsley in here. And it's stirred around. I think I'm gonna do the uh, containers first so they could start drying. And then try to pull out some bones. I have a soup ladle over there on the side just to get it stirred. Yum! Oh baby! That looks so good! Oh, it's a lot of dough. <laughs> but I love it. Time to taste the soup. It's good. I need some salt though.